सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ टॉपिक सैम्पलिंग एंड रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन ओके सो फर्स्ट वील सी introduction to the digital control system what is digital control system okay so a digital control system makes use of digital computers and the actuating signal is in the form of coded digital data at some discrete interval of time suppose you have two type of signal right one is continuous and discrete so for regular interval suppose for 0 second for 1 second for 2 second for every second we are taking some data okay so this is this signal is in form of digital or coded digital data coded digital data which is called as digital input or we can tell it as actuating signal is in form of digital data so this data is utilized by digital computers as a actuating signal so in this digital control system we make use of analog to digital and digital to analog converters right digital analog to digital and digital to analog converters okay suppose we need uh, digital output okay so we use analog to digital converter and then to get continuous output we use digital to analog converter so this is continuous signal right continuous signal and this is sample data right these are the sample data so a control system using more than one or more signal at a discrete time interval see we have a discrete time interval right there is a time interval of 1 second so for every second we are taking some data and a control system which are using more or uh, one or more signal more signal at discrete time interval are known as sample data control system okay so i write it first okay i write it here uh, what is what is digital control system and what is uh, sample data control system okay so digital control system uh, control system make use of a digital computer and the actuating signal is in the form of coded data at discrete interval of time like this okay and what is data control system so data control system is system is is a control system using one or more than one signal okay so here they are using more than one signal at regular interval so it is a control system which use one or more than one signal at a discrete time interval right now how we will get sampled output okay how we will get sampled signal suppose we have input r of t there is a feedback path and this will generate signal error signal e of t okay and this is sampler 
we sample signal at t second then we will get sampled signal and this signal will go to hold circuit okay which hold the value for that t period now next is process to be controlled okay so this discrete signal will go to the next block which control the process and this is the feedback path so here we will get output c of t so just take an example that this is your error signal this is your error signal and this error signal this is e of t error signal e of t and this signal is sampled at every t second at every t second okay now so for 0 second there will be some value for t we'll get some sam uh, we'll get some sample like this okay so we are getting a discrete discrete signal at a regular time interval of t second so this is our sampled error signal okay so this is e of t this is the error which we got and this is sampler so whenever uh, for every t second uh, this switch is closed and we'll get some sampled value okay for every t second the switch is closed and we'll get some value so this is nothing but a sampler which is sam which is sampling a signal error signal at every t second and this uh, this signal will go to the hold circuit so the hold circuit will hold the value so that the output of the controlled process is continuous with respect to time okay this is going to hold the value for t second so the output of the controlled process is continuous with respect to time okay and this will proceed to the controlled process block okay so this is the sample data control system and if we draw a block diagram of digital control system then it will be like this this is input this should be digital input and here we have digital computers which give a digital uh, sampled output and here we'll get digital to analog converter and after that this will go to the controlled process block and output of this will be continuous okay so this is digital input here digital computer and this is feedback so with feedback we need to put analog to digital converter because the output is digital uh, sorry output is continuous right and here reference is given in digital form so the error signal should be in form of digital okay so these are the category of discrete data control system this sample data this is sampled data control system all right cs and 
डिजिटल कंट्रोल सिस्टम ओके सो दीज आर द कैटेगरी ऑफ दीज आर द कैटेगरी ऑफ डिस्क्रीट डाटा कंट्रोल सिस्टम ओके ओके सो वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेस वी विल गेट विथ दिस सिस्टम सी द यूज ऑफ डिजिटल और सैम्पल डाटा कंट्रोल सिस्टम इज With the same control equipment, the time sharing between the different input signal will be enabled. So, with the same control system, so with same control system, the time sharing. the time sharing between different input signal is enabled and the second advantage is the cost of such control system cost of such control system is reduced what is sampler okay so sampler is basically uh, it is the basic element of sample data control system which sample the continuous uh, continuous signal into sequence pulse okay sampler is a basic element of of sample data control system it is a basic element of sample data control system which sample the continuous signal okay so this sample the continuous signal suppose this is a sampler okay and for every t second we switch uh, and for every t second the switch is closed okay so this is the continuous signal and this is the sampled signal so for every t second for every t second the switch is closed so suppose we have a continuous signal f of t so this is f of t so for every t second we will get some sampled output like this for 0 for 1 sorry for t for 2t for 3t for 4t for 5t 6t 7 and 8 Okay. Now, what is ideal sampler and practical sampler?
So here two type of sampled output we'll get. One is ideal and one is practical. So what is practical sampler? Now suppose switch is closed for delta time period. Okay. So how we'll get output? We'll get output like this. So here this switch is closed for every delta t second okay and afterwards for some time it is open so this is the practical sampler when delta t tends to zero when this delta t tends to zero we will get ideal sampler this is the ideal sampling and this is practical sampling